Now today marks the first day grocery stores across Colorado can officially stock their shelves with bottles of wine. Denver 7's Bayon Wang spoke to experts about this increased competition. He's live outside uh, Broadway, uh, the Broadway Safeway there. What, uh, what do you have there? You doing a little shopping? I am doing a little shopping. We have a good old bottle of Kim Crawford Sauve Blanc, which can be found at most liquor stores, now available for purchase at most grocery stores as well. And the experts we spoke to said the additional competition is a win-win situation for consumers. So we went to see for ourselves. Walking into Colorado grocery stores now comes with new perks. He said their wine's going where the cheese and where the bread are all at. Rows of shelves filled with bottles of wine. I think with more number of sellers, the price should come down a little bit. That prediction may take a few more weeks to test, and that's not MSU economics professor Kishore Kulkarni's only prediction. I would expect King Supers and Safeways will charge a little bit less for the wine, for the same wine, of course. Let's see, a bottle of Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc will go for $13.99 at this Safeway, $12.99 at the King Supers off Spear, and the Kim Crawford uh, Argonaut Wine and Liquor off Colfax is $12.99. All about the same price, but that alone isn't how this liquor store is trying to compete. So this is our brand new kind of food and convenience aisle. Um, we've got everything from, you know, soups, candies, ramen, um, you know, your hostess cupcakes, pop tarts, things like that, all the way to, you know, laundry detergent. Um, we've got, you know, forks, uh, plastic forks, knives, spoons. Ironically, an aisle like this is what you'd find at a grocery store, and it's not by accident that Argonaut's president, Josh Robinson, is adjusting to the times. This is an effort to make Argonaut as much of a one-stop shop as a grocery store is. So trying to make it where instead of needing to make your stop at a King's or an Albertsons, and Argonaut Wine and Liquor isn't the only liquor store adding food to their shelves. We've actually been seeing this at many other liquor stores in the last few weeks here in downtown alone. I've seen at least three starting to add food to their store. But besides all that, guys, Ann and Shannon, you guys are my favorite. So uh, when you get off your shift, I'll make sure to have a glass ready for you guys. But right. till then, y'all. Bottoms up. <laughs> all right. Bye on Wang on Broadway at the Safeway. Thanks, oh, Bye on. And cupcakes, too. And all cupcakes. right. Thank you, Bye on. <laughs> and you might be wondering how this will affect Colorado's wineries. Well, Denver 7's Jason Grunauer talked to a couple of them. We heard from three local Colorado wineries, and the basic response is a bit of a mixed bag of grapes, if you will. So let's start with the good. As of today, Carboy Winery now sells their product in Whole Foods locations. The already fast growing business sees wine in grocery stores as a win for the local and at times unknown industry. I think it's great for Colorado wine. It's going to get a lot of people you know, to pay attention to an industry that maybe most consumers don't even know exists. From the Grand Valley to Rhino, you'll soon be able to see more of Infinite Monkey Theorem wine in Trader Joe's locations. The women-owned Urban Winery sees the good in today's expansion with a caveat of concern. On one hand, it's great. We're in the wine business. We have the opportunity to get our products out on more shelves, get in the hands of more consumers, but on the other hand, at what cost? So we have a lot of great relationships with our independent retailers in Colorado. And we know this, um, you know, we know we don't want them to take a hit for this new big change. Finally, I spoke to a large independent winery out in Palisade. The owner tells me they are applied, ready to get into grocery stores if those stores are interested in them but more than likely due to red tape, shelf space challenges, and just overall distribution, many local wineries will end up being small fishes in big ponds, in his words. And as for the future, the owner says, quote, I don't think it'll happen. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7. It's a big change. And the last major change in Colorado alcohol sales, January 1st, 2019, when grocery stores were allowed to sell full-strength beer. Now, before that, grocery stores could only sell the beer with lower 3.2% alcohol content. Now, CSU researchers looked at how full-strength beer sales in grocery stores affected liquor stores. When it comes to uh, visitation rates, which you observe with cell phone tracking data, um, we have seen a dec decrease of about 5%. Uh, we could see this unfold through the period from inception of the new policy uh, until the time when uh, we hit the pandemic and then uh, everything went uh, completely uh, more complicated. 
Now, CSU didn't track sales data because they say researchers didn't have access to it. They did, though, survey about 80 craft breweries. So let's look at that data. Beer sales in liquor stores declined by 16% or 17,000 barrels between 2017 and 2019, late 2019. Now, the volume sold in grocery stores grew by 28,000.